Hello everyone, and welcome back. Ever since I got this truck, I got all the people that were warning me about the head gaskets on these things, and and then I kind of noticed when I was driving that when I would crack the window, it's I thought I could smell radiator fluid. So I was just, you know, I really been worried because I'm going to be bringing that travel trailer down, 1,400 mile trip down to Louisiana, and then probably pulling the Louisiana boat back up here. So I've been watching it really close, and uh, today I went and checked the, because uh, I noticed that, I mean, the temperature gauge, I'm waiting for it to get up to full temp right now, never goes up above the full, but I noticed when I'm just idling, it wasn't as warm in here, so I knew it's like everything was telling me, dude, you know, you're, you're losing coolant. So then I came out here, and it was low on coolant, and when I'm looking at it, you can see this around here. Before I bought it, somebody has went ahead and put in a stop leak, so then I was really worried. So then I was pretty sure, okay, I'm gonna, you know, just might as well, I got a pretty good deal on the truck, looks like I'm gonna go ahead and have to bring it in. And then, so I, I put more coolant in there and I got a thing of stop leak just to get me by that I was gonna put in here, but you have to wait until the motor gets up to temperature before you dump that in. So I had that cap off and I'm sitting there and I'm looking and I can see this drip. So after I saw that, yeah, I was pretty relieved, thinking, you know, I was like, oh, I can just put a hose clamp on there, so I'm not going to put any stop leak in. But then when I put the cap on, it shows right on top that that system actually pressurizes to about 10 pounds per square inch. And uh, the other video, I, the drip video, I took with my cell phone, and then it started to drip faster. Now that I put the cap on, it's not the actual hose that's leaking. There's a hose, there's a leak in the actual reservoir. I'm going to bring you in there, but I won't be able to talk, and you can take a look. So anyway, I just wanted to post a video on that because it scared the crap out of me and now at least I know that uh, that that part is a pretty simple fix. So I don't know, it's my first diesel. Anything that happens, I'm going to take you guys along with me. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you guys on the next video.